It's force times distance. Power. It is force times distance all divided by time. Potential energy. It's mass times gravity times height. Kinetic energy. It's one-half mass times velocity squared. The units for work. Work is in phys work is in joules. It is calculated in newtons times meters. The units for power. It's newton times meters divided by seconds. The units for potential energy. It's kilograms times meters times the gravity constant of 9.8 meters per second squared. The units for kinetic energy. One half kilograms times meters per second squared. If the hoop is 10 feet off the ground and the ball has a weight of 20 ounces, what is the potential energy of the ball right before it falls into the hoop? As explained earlier, the equation for potential energy is PE equals MGH. M is mass and is measured in kilograms. Converting the weight of the ball in ounces to kilograms, we get 0.57 kilograms. H is height, which is in this equation has to be in meters. Converting our 10 feet to meters, we get 3.05 meters. Multiplying those two values by our gravity constant, 9.8 meters per second squared, we get the potential energy to be 17.04 joules. What is the kinetic energy of the ball after it has fallen for 0.3 seconds? Also explained earlier was the equation for kinetic energy, which is 1 half mv squared. We solved for mass in the previous problem, now we have to solve for velocity. This can be done using kinematics. The equation for speed in meters per second of an object in free fall is 9.8t where t is measured in seconds. Plugging in our 0.3 seconds, we get a speed of 29.4 meters per second. Substituting that speed into our equation, we get a kinetic energy of 2.46 joules. What would the potential energy be at this point? The conservation of energy tells us that the total energy in the system will be 17.4 joules throughout the entire time, though that energy will be transferring from potential to kinetic. Therefore, we can subtract the kinetic energy from the total energy to solve for the potential energy. In this case, the potential energy is 14.58 joules. Blue. 135 pound CJ jumps over a five foot bar. How much work did he do? Work is measured in joules, which is newton times meters. Converting weight in pounds and newtons, we get a weight of 600.5 newtons. Converting our feet to meters, we get a height of 1.53 meters. Multiplying these two values together, we get the work to be equal to 915.8 joules. How much power did he apply? Power is work over time in seconds. Dividing the 915.8 joules by the 0.55 seconds it took to reach 5 feet, CJ used 1,091.82 watts of power. Yeah, 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 yeah